guys, I'm here today to tell you about how I met Hedwig and the Angry Inch. Hedwig and the Angry Inch is an off-Broadway show that was turned into a movie in 2001, I believe. And I remember meeting her because I worked at Blockbuster. Now, let me just say, but when I mean meeting her, I mean when I discovered the movie. Like I said, I was working at Blockbuster, I rented the movie, and I was in love. I mean, I knew what I was getting into, but I really didn't. Uh, the back of the cover can only explain so much, but after I was finished watching that movie, I was, like, touched. Um, it's, it's funny, because this is a story about a man from East Berlin who wanted to get out and get away, and he fell in love with this man. He wanted to get married and go to America, and the only way he can do that would be if he had a full examination, and they would have seen that he was not a she. So he had to have a sex change, and he was left with an angry inch because the sex change was botched. So here he is, in love with this guy, had this horrible sex change. One year later, this guy leaves him. And Hedwig, like anyone else who has sacrificed a part of themselves, like we have all sacrificed a part of ourselves for someone, is left low and down and hurt. And a year later, after he left, the Berlin Wall came down, so Germany would have been changed. And Hedwig didn't have to become this woman for love. And it all hit him. And so... Hedwig had to find herself, and what she did was find it through music, and she became um, someone who was writing songs and performing, and she fell in love with someone else, and he became, like, her partner and helped write music with her and perform together. They were, like, perfect pair. Perfect. Oh, here she is again, you know, left low and down and betrayed this time because someone took her music and said it was hers who acted like he didn't know her and just really hurt her beyond repair. So she got a band, The Angry Inch, and they started performing her songs and kind of following this man who stole her music and, you know, just tried to tell her story. So you're watching this movie at this point of her life, telling her story about how she became who she is and about love and about just wanting to find her other half. Just like everybody else in life wants to find their other half, to be happily ever after, no matter how much somebody says no, they don't want it, at a point in their life they did. And this is what the story is about. And it's also about finding yourself. Hedwig had to find herself to find out who she really was and what she really wanted in life. And I think all of us hit points in our lives like that too, whether it is with love or not, you know. So when you watch this movie and you see a person sacrifice a part of themselves, literally, <laughs> for love, I mean, how touching is that? I mean... I know I've been in love many times, and I know the sacrifices and things that you will do for love, and you just want that in return, and you want somebody to, you know, love you the way that you love them, and that's what the story is about, and this, the story, it is a musical, but it's more like a punk rock show, so when you watch this movie, you're watching them and perform like punk rock, and the songs are beautiful. I mean, they're witty, they're clever. I mean, the, the people who were in the off-Broadway show helped make this movie. So the Hedwig from the off-Broadway show is the same Hedwig in the movie. And they wanted it absolutely perfect. So if you were a fan of the off-Broadway show and you watched it, everything would be seamless. Like, you know what was going to happen and it was just perfect. I mean, the, the effort and the attention to detail that they put in the movie is beautiful. How they shot the scenes and how, you know, you felt what he felt or she felt. It was just brilliant. And then the score, the songs are just amazing. And, I mean, by the end of the movie, I mean, I felt touched. I felt like, oh, I was just, like, blown away. Like, what did I just watch? And... 
you know, it, it was like a bittersweet moment because you feel sad because you, you felt sad for her and you feel sad about, you know, the, the sacrifices and then, you know, but it's sweet because of lessons that she learned in the end. And I, it just moved me so much so that I got a tattoo of Hedwig and um, I got it finished recently. I have the two pieces of the logo from the origin of love which is a song in the movie and then i have the words exquisite corpse that moved me so much so that i got something on my skin permanently um finally a year ago hedwig got to broadway she finally got to broadway and it was such an amazing moment i remember hearing about it and i was so excited i was so happy for John Cameron Mitchell and Stephen Trask who wrote the original, you know, off-Broadway show. I was so happy. I immediately had to go, but unfortunately I didn't get to go see it until November of last year and I saw it when Michael C. Hall played Hedwig. And Michael C. Hall was fantastic. I love Dexter. I love him as an actor. He's a great actor, but I had no idea that man could sing. And he sang Hedwig so perfectly. I mean, though his stature and his build is differently from John Cameron Mitchell, he, I forgot that I was watching him. I, I thought I was watching Hedwig. It was beautiful. I mean, when I saw it, I did cry. <laughs> I did cry because it was just an experience. I was blown away. Here I'm watching one of my favorite actors of my favorite TV show play a role from a favorite movie of mine, and it was near my birthday priority, so... Uh, and it was near my birthday. So I saw, for my birthday, Michael C. Hall, and I saw him play Hedwig. So it was beautiful. Almost towards the end of him playing Hedwig, it was announced that John Cameron Mitchell, the original Hedwig, was coming back to reprise her role. And I immediately knew I had to see that. I mean, that is a once-in-a-lifetime thing, to see the original Hedwig come back and play, you know the role again and I was able to go with one of my dear friends who he equally loves Hedwig as much as me I remember like when that movie came out and we met I was like have you ever seen Hedwig and the Angry Inch he's like oh my god you know what that is and we immediately bonded over Hedwig and so for us to go together to see it was a big thing so um we saw him perform I think two to three weeks before he ended his role on Broadway as Hedwig and uh, it was magical. It was beautiful. I mean, I had chills up and down my arms the whole time. He, it, seeing him live was completely different than watching him on the TV. I was sharing the same air with this man, you know? And I, I nearly came to tears. I mean, it was beautiful. And to see him, you know, even though it's been, you know, uh, 14 years later he still had it he still had it and it was absolutely beautiful I wanted to see it again but it didn't work out uh, I'm so lucky that I was able to see that I mean there are millions of people who love Hedwig and the Angry Inch who weren't able to see him perform live so I'm so lucky that I was able to do that and Hedwig and the Angry Inch means a lot to me because it also makes me just not give up hope for things like love and and when I was battling anxiety issues when things were you know really getting hard for me I mean like my anxiety was suffocating me I felt like almost crippling at one point and so what helped me was Hedwig and um, listening to the music and thinking of those shows and just putting myself back into that time because that time was happy it was pure happiness for me, and um, and Hedwig helps me out like that. So, I mean, it sounds silly, but I am a sucker for a good movie, and a, even more sucker for songs and lyrics. I love lyrics, and you know, that 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 is a hole for me. You know, Hedwig and the Angry Inch is something I highly recommend that you watch if you haven't already. It is a beautiful story and I know it sounds a little strange and a little bizarre, but trust me, you'll love it. And if you don't, I at least give you kudos for trying. But um, if you've seen Hedwig, please let me know and comment down below. How were you introduced to Hedwig? How did you meet her? Um, 
did you see the Hedwig on a you know on Broadway? Did you see John Cameron Mitchell? Or who did you see when you went to see them? Um, it's just something that I'm <laughs> very passionate about. So I thank you so much for watching and listening to me ramble about this movie. Again, I highly suggest you watch it if you have not already. Um, just so you can have a better understanding of how that movie means to me. I mean, I couldn't explain it properly and fully explain how it it is for me because it's beyond words. But um, please like and subscribe to my channel and uh, just tell me what your thoughts are on Hedwig and the Angry Inch. I thank you so very much for watching and until next time, I hope you guys take care.